Hello peoples! The order of business today is to reinstall the cluster, air vents, dash pad, bottom covers, glove box, carpets, a few of the trim pieces and the front and rear seats. And of course we found another little problem, so let's dig right in. We replaced the cluster light bulbs the last time, so let's test if they work. What's happening? Were those the headlights? Yes. Well, well they we make know, a nice sound. We know that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but does the cluster illuminate? Now it's off the switch is a bit. I can see some green. This thing is a bit short. <laughs> we'll try contact spray first, and if that doesn't work, we'll have to order a new dash light dim switch. We also checked if the blower works, and all seems fine. Yeah, I can feel the air blowing, that's good. Ooh. Mm. Let's keep that off. <laughs> <laughs> Time to put back the dash pad, and as you can see, the glue which we used to repair it is still holding up. We are missing some screws for the dash pad above the glove box, so we'll have to put them back in later. No. Of course, the fan grills will need to be reinstalled, and then it's time to put the glove box back together. That looks fantastic! So we do need to get a few new screws, but uh, that's one glove box reinstalled. Now regarding that little problem. Someone decided it was a good idea to drill some holes through the floor. Probably while installing the LPG system. We decided to repair those holes from the bottom and when the car is on a lift. I'm not sure if that is the best idea, but our excitement got on the way again and we really wanted to get the interior back in. Well, with all that drama out of the way, let's take a little moment to lift our spirits and appreciate that lovely restored dashboard. Gotta say, we are pretty proud of the result. Now, back to business. Before putting back the rear seats, we replaced the old seat belt fasteners. They were not the prettiest and held together by duct tape. Luckily, we managed to get some in better condition with our deal on the interior, so we'll be using those. Of course, we first gave them a proper clean. <laughs> Damn it. So that's quite a difference. Time to reinstall them into the car. Put back the... what do you call those things? Interior air guidance system. Next up is the clean carpet. Well, it does have some stains here and there, but nothing too bad. Perfect. Next. The new front and rear seats and all the other leather parts that came with them were a bit dirty and tired and so, of course, again, we had to do a little cleaning. We decided to use Turtle Wax Luxe Leather which should result in a nice matte finish. We are quite happy with the results so we treated all the leather the same way. Now that everything is nice and clean, it's finally time to put it all back together. 
But before we forget, on day 22, we noticed a few loose hoses underneath the dash at the driver's side. And we wanted to thank the Japs, Bjorn Lilpus and Marcus for letting us know they are from the cruise control. So, thank you. We reattach those hoses and let's hope we have a working cruise control once we finally get the 850 road legal. And in go the bottom covers. And of course, that very shiny new center console. Hmm, we forgot to clean a few parts. Yeah, that's better. And now, the moment has arrived to install the new seat. Oh man, this is looking so good. That might be a little over the top, but as this interior is coming together, we gotta say we are pretty happy with the results so far. Now, on to the rear seats. We decided to put back some of the trim pieces before reinstalling the rear seats, so we won't have to struggle with them later. To install the rear seat backrests, we needed two pairs of hands and it was a little frustrating to move them around. Eventually we managed to get it to sit right and the rust repair on the brackets didn't cause any problems. For obvious safety reasons we also reinstalled the seat belts. And the last two pieces are the rear seat bolsters. Well, gotta say, we are very proud of the end result. Before, the dash itself was in okay condition with the exception of all the dirt, muck and grime that was all over it. Now it's clean and looking the part again. For the center console goes the same, although we replaced it with a new one, which of course got a very thorough clean as well, and is also looking almost brand new. When we got the car, the carpet was completely covered in mold and all kinds of nasty stuff was living inside it. Now it is mold free and with the exception of a few stubborn stains, it's almost as good as new. The front and rear seats were also completely covered in mold and looking real tired. The new leather seats really finished the interior off and we are glad we came across the deal we got. And last but not least, before there was a ton of aftermarket junk installed and knowing we got rid of it all will forever bring a sense of satisfaction. Alright, and that is all we could do today. Next time we'll need to replace the speakers probably, if we can order them in time. We'll have to address all the door panels, we got the leather parts for them, we have to replace those. We have to clean the seat belts because these are really really nasty. We got a whole bunch of trim pieces to clean and then fit back into the car, mostly for the rear. So that's basically finishing off the interior the next time. Then we'll have to replace the tow bar and reinstall the rear bumper. And then we got the interior and exterior mostly done which means it's gonna be engine time again all right thanks for watching and see you the next time goodbye